So, hi, my name is Kirsty Morn. I am a volunteer with Alive, but also the club's captain of the Students' Union. So, earlier this year, I applied for the Washington Ireland programme uh, and went for the forum, the, the Role of Women in Society. Uh, the reason I applied for the WIP programme was uh, I'm a massive advocate for women in STEM and women in sports. So, with, I was actually doing the Goshka Award as well and was looking for a residential opportunity. And it seemed fitting for me to do residential with some way linked into the role of women in society. So I researched the events and programmes around the topic and found the WIP programme. I had a look into it. Um, the specific theme was the role of women in society, uh, empowerment, equality and leadership in both Northern Ireland and Ireland. Um, I was selected to participate in the programme. Um, the WIP forum, what it is, is they seek emerging leaders and influencers from diverse um, academic and socio-economic and political backgrounds to join their community to discuss issues and pitch solutions to create a future of peace and prosperity for both North, Northern Ireland and Ireland. Um, I pitched on behalf of my group and we were overall winners of the forum and we were invited to continue working on the development of our concepts so that's what that's where we are at the moment and um, we're actually meeting weekly to keep discussing the topic so it's been a really great experience. So what would someone expect from the forum and what is the kind of layout if they were to get involved? So I, I'm actually very happy to explain that because I know when I applied for the forum, I actually didn't really know what I was getting myself in for. There wasn't a lot of information. So basically it was uh, four evenings. It was Monday to Thursday, so it was two hours each evening. Uh, the first evening was just kind of introductions. It was brainstorming. You were put into subcategories for subcategory questions because there was four questions within the theme itself and you did, you did your brainstorming, you did uh, just some games really and they also use um, a, a, a platform called Mural so it takes a while to get used to using that so they used this as a way to introduce people and then they did an extra hour on the Monday where they had a panel discussion and this was an opportunity kind of to inspire participants on their idea from uh, leaders in areas similar to the topic being discussed. Then on Tuesday, they move on to um, a lot of brainstorming, a lot of round robin. It's all, you're put into your groups of four and you're kind of establishing different concepts. You're debating them. You're talking through them. It's really interesting. Um, it's all very time tight. You don't realize how short you are for time. Everything is to the minute. You have a certain amount of time, you have to move on to the next thing. So you don't have a lot of time to focus on it. And you just kind of have to keep rolling with it. And then... On the third day, it was very much designing your concept, filling it out, you've picked the idea you're going with, and as a group, really building on your concept using um, a storyboard. And then on the final day, you finish off your pitch and you pitch it to the panel of um, the WIC program advisors, and that's the program in summary. Um, obviously, before the program, they send you some pre-readings as well, so there's a good bit of prep in, that, prep in that side of it as well. But it's a great week. It's, it seems very short when you're doing it the two hours fly by. You're so stuck for time. <laughs> Thank you. Why should people get involved with the WIP forums? So why should people get involved with the WIP forum? It's a great opportunity, I think, to build on so many of your personal skills while meeting some very like-minded people. Um, you really build on your leadership, your communication, um, just your interpersonal skills, working with, you know, your teamwork um, and you're working on some great projects. So like obviously the one I went to was on the role of women in society. Uh, there's actually another one coming up now in a few weeks on, um, I think it's post-COVID, um, how we adapt and what the future is going to look like. So like they do different forums. Usually it's, it's a program where it's ran over in Washington, hence the name Washington Ireland Programme and you go over for two months and you do an internship while you're over there and you do the program over there. But because of COVID, positive and negative, is that they're able to run more forums, they're able to open it to more people, and there was still the internship opportunity, it's just being done online. Um, so it's a fantastic program to get involved with. I, I know for myself, like my, me, myself and my group, we're actually really good friends now, we're continuing to work together. And you learn a lot from other people as well. Like you, it's a it's a great way to learn how to debate topics with someone and like, discuss, but still learn how to like respect someone else's opinion, even though you mightn't agree with what they're saying. So there's so many, there's so much, there's so much you can learn from the program. 
Great. Uh, that's amazing. I suppose it's a great way at the moment as well to um, meet other people and socialize in a kind of proactive way, which is something we're all kind of looking forward to. Um, I guess as well, uh, how do people get started? Where do you look to apply for the WIP forms? I know there's a few more coming up over the next couple of months. So if you can walk us through that, that'd be great. Yeah, so I found out about sure it's so they're on Instagram and Facebook, literally type in Washington Ireland program and it'll come up and you can see up to date details on what's coming up. Then they have a website as well, Washington Ireland program. And if you go on to 2021 uh, forums and you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see there's a little form you can fill out for application and literally go through the application and ask you for a few personal details and um, a few answers on why you want to do the WIP program and they get back to you very quickly. So um, I highly recommend applying for it. Like I said, there's different topics throughout the year. So if one doesn't particularly take your fancy, there's loads of other forums. And even if it's not something you're particularly interested in, you might go to it and be surprised and actually find that she is a very interesting topic. So I'd highly recommend the program to anyone. Yeah, sounds amazing. Uh, I suppose as part of your Goshka program and uh, completing your award, could you maybe explain how it fitted into your development as a person and in getting to your final award? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm going for my gosh of gold uh, this year. I started it back in March or April last year. And I, so for my physical, I was doing adventure racing, which is fine. I was doing my, uh, I was actually doing gosh Pal as a community. And for my uh, still I'm doing leadership because leadership is something I've always been very interested in and I kind of thought to myself I want to do a residential that is some way linked into residential public speaking all those topics that I love and which was going to be hard to find online because obviously without that in-person element it doesn't it doesn't it didn't seem like it was going to be a lot of events like that and I found the WIP program very by accident I'll tell you like it, it just happened to come across on my, on my Instagram feed and I kind of said oh what's that um which is lucky really but it tied in really great because like I said a massive advocate for women and, and women in sport and women in STEM and um, it was the perfect amount of days between the pre-reads and the activity you're doing and the, the hours you'd work on it yourself so it fit in perfectly to being a residential project um, and then literally all I have left to do now is my adventure journey so it's really kind of summed up the award for me now and I think the, the, top, the topics covered in it really summed up kind of the things I've been working on, like with the Gosh Kapal, the kind of mentoring and, and, and uh, you know, helping others. And then with the, with the, with the leadership, with leader, leading and, you know, confidence and things like that. So it really kind of summed up my award for me. It was a really good experience. Yeah, brilliant. Thanks a million.